Hey everyone and welcome back to another Five Good Things. I know it's been about six months since I last posted. Uh, I was going through some mid-pandemic fatigue and decided to take a break. And so instead of putting the whole kibosh on everything, I figured I'd just step back and come back when I was uh, ready to go. So I'm back and ready to do some more Five Good Things. So the holidays are a time for giving thanks, giving back, and hopefully this year not giving each other COVID. I've decided actually in the next five weeks leading up to Christmas that I'm going to do a five good things weekly that's based around businesses and actually small businesses in our community. And I know that Blackbird traditionally I've kind of focused on humanitarians and uh, social enterprises, nonprofits, things like that, but I wanted to expand it this season to small businesses. Why? Because Blackbird is about encouraging people to unite and come together to inspire hope and just basically goodness in our communities. Uh, and I can think of no better way than right now of highlighting some small businesses that are struggling or um, just could use a little bit of extra airtime or oomph um, to get them going through the holiday season. The thing that brought this to mind was actually something on Facebook that I'm going to share with you guys, um, was this sign that I saw kind of circulating Facebook. Um, and it really hit home for me about everything that we've kind of like expected from small businesses in our community and, you know, participated in. And now it's like they're, they're relying on us to, to get over this hump and just through this pandemic. Uh, I, as you can see in my comment, I said Amazon's profit grew by more than 20 billion during COVID while tons of small businesses are having to shut their doors permanently. So I figured for the next five weeks, we're gonna be focusing on small businesses. Um, so to get started, I will, I've kind of fielded some questions um, of, from some friends on Facebook as far as small businesses in our area that we can support. So these tend to be focused a lot in Ohio. There's one currently in California. If you guys know of anyone, um, let me know. By all means, I'll feature them on the next one or one of these next five uh, to help support them. So let's get started. So first off, we have Fox and Socks Soapery. It's local, Ohio-based, um, and Fox and Socks will have you and your gift receivers feeling and smelling very good this season. Katie Hall is the owner of Fox and Socks, um, and she hand makes all the soaps, which are natural and locally sourced, and free of palm oil. You can head on over to foxandsockssoapery.com, which is this website or you can find Katie on Etsy at Fox and Socks Soapery. So next up, if you have a fisherman in your family, wanna learn how to fish, do you collect fishing lures by chance? If you've answered yes to any of these questions, head on over to Witty Outdoors. The husband and wife team's vision for their small business is to bring quality custom fishing lures to the market. With over 30 years of fishing experience, they bring their firsthand knowledge to the thoughtful designs of their products. Let their premium lures give you and yours the advantage you're looking for out on the water and out witty your competition. Yeah, you're welcome for that. Head on over to wittyoutdoors.com to shop. Are you from Dayton? Do you love Dayton? Do you love beautiful homemade totes and gem city themed artwork? Then Cherry Fulham Art has you covered this holiday season. The local, local Dayton artists, unique Dayton and Ohio inspired totes, bags, keychains, and more is sure to put a smile on the face of even your toughest gift recipient. She also has some pretty rad Ruth Bader Ginsburg artwork as well. Check her out on Facebook at Cherry Fulham Art. And next up, if you're in the Los Angeles slash Santa Barbara area, you are in for a treat, and I mean that literally. The Lilac Patisserie is a dedicated gluten-free bakery and cafe owned by husband and wife power duo, Jillian and Alam Morales. A diagnosed celiac, Jillian's focus as a pastry chef has always been gluten-free baking as well as unbelievable custom cake decorating. Just check out a few of these pics from their website. And yes, from personal experience, I can say they taste as good as they look, potentially even better, if that's even possible. Browse the menu and get your orders in now at lilacpatisserie.com. And last but not least, the Paper Moon and Company. If you or the person you're buying for is into unique, earthy, and affordable type jewelry, the Paper Moon and Co. has your hookup. 
From wood resin earrings to moonstone necklaces and everything in between, the delicate designs create gentle statement pieces. Browse and shop at thepapermoonandco.com. And really, would this be a five good things if I didn't share at least one uh, piece of good news? So here you go, warm fuzzy time. Seven-year-old Erin Diggs is on a mission to encourage and inspire other children struggling through cancer treatment. Take a look. special delivery by a very special someone, seven-year-old Erin Diggs, cancer survivor and author, says she feels a little weird about telling people how awesome she is. Sometimes when I tell people, I feel like they get too excited. Diagnosed just two years old, Erin endured surgery and several rounds of chemo. She lost her beads and braids then. If you make a book, about what you went through, people will support you and be in inspired. Monday, she continues to do just that outside the Morgan Stanley Children's Hospital in Washington Heights. She and her family delivered socks with stories, 50 pairs donated to children fighting cancer. They're comfy and designed very well. Designed by real life superheroes, children battling cancer. To know that the designs on the socks are created by children who are going through life battling illnesses is everything. The socks get delivered by childhood cancer survivors who volunteer to help. Who's excited? Me! The company behind it all, Resilience Gives. For each pair purchased, a pair is donated. Founder Jake Teitelbaum tells us this is a product of personal experience. Diagnosed with cancer in college, tells us he spends a little too much time in the hospital. It always stuck out to me that every time you go in, you get your gown and these really drab hospital socks. Socks are admittedly small, but can change your experience. And having families who are now celebrating five years cancer-free deliver them, well, that gives hope for a healthy future. I hope that someone looks at me and looks at my family and says, we can do it too. Be confident. Don't be scared. Put on your little kid's socks. You got this. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. And that is, let me see, there we go. The end of this Five Good Things episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for next time where I'll highlight another five small businesses or causes that you could support this holiday season. And remember, as always, be kind to yourself, be kind to other people, and hang in there. We are in this together for good. I'll see you guys next time.